In London, I was exposed to television from a very young age. And when the gauntlet was thrown at me to produce, host and direct my own television show, I took up the exciting challenge and discovered the magic of TV technology. I got hooked and the fascination continues even today. Just remember, this was the early 80s. There was only Doodarshan then and basic cradle technology. When you're a pioneer, you have to be ready for a lot of opposition. I learned this from my very first television show. It's a woman's world, it's a woman's world was a glossy magazine-style format with new techniques and topics never done before in India. We had fitness workouts, fashion, grooming, agony aunt, interviews, astrology and debates. The press lashed out. It's too glamorous. How could you put astrology on the show? How could you bring out such a private topic as infidelity? There were morchas outside Dudarshan. <laughs> it's amusing for me to see that today, full television shows are created on all our small segments. <laughs> I guess it was just way ahead of its time. It's a man's world. It's a woman's world. La, 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 la. the inaugural program of It's a Woman's World. I'm delighted to see that we have lots of men in our audience. Well, if you're interested in women, that's the right place to be in. As I see it, the women of today are going through a very exciting phase. They're interestingly wedged between two worlds. On the one hand is the old world, with its traditions of a marriage and a family. And on the other, the new world of feminism, freedom, and a career. Now, most of us want something of both worlds. We want a career and we want a man to love us. We want a professional life, and we want a family life. We want to be good at something, and we want to look good while we're doing it. And now, for the first time, we can have it all. The best of both worlds, the woman's world. This, then, is a program for you, the thinking woman who's curious about herself, other women, and men. For the woman who is progressive, vulnerable, ambitious, and very, very feminine. A program in celebration of the Indian woman of today. So let's start by having a woman-to-woman -woman talk with someone who's admired by both men and women. Here she is. Hello, Rita. It's lovely to have you on It's a Woman's World. Oh, the pleasure is totally mine. Thanks. Those of us who've known you and have seen you through the years, we've seen a metamorphosis. Uh, the emergence of a new, beautiful, sleek and confident Rekha. <laughs> but you know, do you think that uh, many uh, women, other women, can also achieve a uh, transformation like this in their appearance? Appearance? Why only appearance? They can, uh, they can achieve uh, just anything they want. Uh, I think it should be both ways, inside and outside. Well, what advice would you give these, these girls who admire you and look up to you? Mm -hmm. To be beautiful, to be a complete beautiful woman, you have to be physically fit. Mm, that's wonderful. Um, if you can manage to be slim, fine, otherwise definitely not fat. Yes. That is ugly. It must take a lot of willpower, whatever, to sustain a regimen of exercise and diet. It sure does. I can't do it for more than, you know, 
two months, the maximum. You're lucky. Up. <laughs> You're lucky you can do it for two months. I can't do it for more than two days. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you do it? How do you do it? And how does this come about? It must be a lot of hard work. Yes, hard work, willpower, discipline. Both. Discipline, yes. But do you ever go through, uh, go on a binge, let's say, you know, just forget about of everything? Of course I go on a binge. I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't last for more than two minutes. Two minutes, you've been just two minutes, and then you get back to it. Well, it takes just two minutes to finish that cheesecake or whatever. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I know, that's yeah. quite true. I also wanted to ask you that, what would you consider the single most important factor that has contributed towards your success? I would <coughs> say luck. Luck, is it? Yes, because no matter how beautiful you are, no matter how talented you are, no matter how uh, professional you are, no matter how... Um, how hard you work on yourself, right. your, your acting and your, your appearance or whatever. Yeah. If you are not lucky, mm. you cannot make it. Quite the true. main thing is luck. Because if you're lucky, then everything you do wrong seems right. right. Tell me, um, today, uh, what place do love and marriage have in your life? Love, today, well, love has always been there, mm. ever since I can remember. I've been very lucky that uh, I've had love, a lot of love, really an abundance of love. What is more important, do you think, in a woman's life, career or marriage? They're two different things. It doesn't interfere. A career is one thing, marriage is another thing. Right. You do have a choice. Yes, so I've been um, lucky. So that's why I'm asking you, <coughs> as a woman who has a choice, what does marriage mean to you? Well, I think it's very important for a woman to be independent. When mm -hmm. I say independent, it goes always. It goes financially independent, yes. emotionally independent, independent in every way. Yes. Uh, look, I can say that because I know I'm in a position, <coughs> I know it's not easy. Of course, uh, emotional independence, not so as financial independence, because mm. once in a way it's nice to make your man feel that you're emotionally dependent on him, yes. you know, it, to, to make him feel a little nice. Surely every woman is a little de dependent on her man mm. emotionally. But financial independence is very, very essential. Essential. But uh, because, yeah. because uh, deep down somewhere, a man does uh, you know, admire a woman who is independent. If she has a career, if she has uh, her independence, whatever kind of independence she has, uh, then she's more confident, she's, she's more sure of herself. Tell me, what does love mean to you? What? I think if you... It's very difficult to say this, but uh, I've experienced it, so I can say it. Hmm. I think love means not being possessive. I used to read books and people used to say, if you love something, just let it go. If it comes back hmm, to it's yours, so if it doesn't, it's just never yours and things like that. But I never understood the meaning of it. Well, possessiveness does come in love too. I mean, it has to be there when you love someone. Yeah. But not petty possessiveness. Would you give up? everything for the man you love? I could never imagine falling in love with a man who would ever want, who would desire to, um, to, for me to give up anything. I personally would do anything for him, yeah. for his betterment, mm. you know, things like looking after him, serving him, but I would never give up. I would be able to do that in spite of doing everything else because mm -hmm. I know I have the capacity. I have the ability, the capacity, the confidence in me that I'll be able to look after him, do whatever he feels like. He surely wouldn't think of anything as petty as wanting me to give up my career. Because but lots of men do. You know, they get married and they want their wives to give up their careers. You think I think that's criminal. I think it's, it's being really unfair because, oh yes, unless there is a newborn baby in the house, mm -hmm. then the baby needs total attention. A woman should never give up her career or whatever she's doing for the sake of a man. Why should she? Hmm. Why should she? It's, I mean, it's, she's doing her thing, but she's not, she's not loving him any less. Quite right. Uh. She, she's taking out time. I mean, I would take out time, definitely. Hmm. Uh, and uh, frankly, if you ask me if you're going to be with, um, he definitely doesn't want him to, uh, want you to be sitting in his godi 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it'll really get, get on his nerves. Quite right. Yeah. The moment should be very, very, very few, but very, very, uh, something to remember. Hmm. Profound. Yes, hmm. you know. I see. That's what's very interesting. Because supposing I have to take off like two hours, mm. I would see that I would just, you know, he would be satisfied with 
just those two hours. Mm. I would do just everything. It would be more than enough. I would kill him with my love. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> two hours is more than enough, yes. actually. Two hours is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's an overdose, yeah? I know. Do you, do you think women are easier to handle than women? I mean, are they more complicated or are women more complicated? Mm -hmm. I'd rather be a woman handling a man. Why? Yes. Because I know what it is like to be a woman, and mm -hmm. I have handled men. Men. Okay. <laughs> like no. Let's face it, it's a fact that a woman is stronger than a man. And I, I'm sure a man knows it. You know, he knows it. He knows it deep inside him. That she's stronger than him. That she is much more strong. Not just strong, she is the strongest thing she's God strongest. has ever created. Really, that's very interesting. And only an intelligent man, and only a down-to-earth man, will admit it. Rika, it's been super fun talking it's to you. It's pleasure is totally mine, like okay. I've said before. Thank you so much. Frankly, there are only two ways to lose weight. The first is to very firmly shake your head from left to right, from side to side, every time you see a plate of food in front of you. And the other is a regular workout. In each of our programs, we're going to show you how to tackle one specific problem area at a time. So come and join a workout session with our aerobic star, Shamali Verma. that you consult a doctor and also it is very important to warm up before any workout so let's go five six seven eight one two three four 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 Very slowly. 
See you next time. Hello, I'm Bhanu Athiya. It gives me great pleasure to reach out to you, the women of India, who have always loved beautiful clothes. The most popular outfit has been the kurta pajama, and as I see it, it will continue to dominate the fashion scene in 85, but with a difference. The conventional contour fit is out, and subtle shaping takes over. Both neck is in, and there is accent on the shoulder. The sleeves are wider, and the silhouette narrows towards the hem. For the woman who is beauty conscious and skin caring, here is It's a Woman's World's own beauty therapist, Monica Palter, to advise you. Hello everyone, I'm Monica Palter, your beauty therapist. Would you like to look young and beautiful for a very long time? Well, I'm here to help you do just that. In our future programs, we're going to be dealing with other major problems like falling hair, acne and makeup. But today, let's start with basic skin care. It's not difficult for a woman of 50 to look 25. She only must know how. All of us know that skincare basics is cleansing, toning, and moisturizing. We all have some kind of skincare routine. I'm here to help you better that routine. First, the enemy of our faces are our own hands. How often do we unconsciously pull, tug, play around with our faces? Or we may even do this. Now, if this becomes a habit, slowly we lose muscle tone, the skin sags, and we look old. So please avoid these gestures from today. We all wash and cream our faces every day of our lives, but are we doing it in the correct manner? Here, let me show you how it should be done. The movements on the neck should be upwards, on the face, upwards and outwards, underneath the eye, inwards, be very, very gentle. On the forehead, it's upwards. So remember, when you wash your faces tonight, be gentle, be firm, and above all, do it in the right direction. What is the difference between a plum and a prune? I'll tell you, it's only moisture. Now, wouldn't you rather look like a plum than a prune? For that, moisture is very, very essential. You can give moisture to the skin, both externally and internally. Internally by drinking 6 to 8 glasses of water a day and externally by washing your face at least 20 to 25 times with water. Try using a mask often. You don't need to go to a beauty salon or have elaborate beauty treatments. The natural way is usually the best. For example, the next time you're in the kitchen and making an omelette, use the egg yolk for the omelette, the egg white which is left in the egg shell, Put it onto your clean fingers, rub it very gently on your face, leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off. And you've given yourself a home beauty treatment. Skin care, I know, is a lot of bother. But 10 years from now, when you look into the mirror and see how good you look, you'll agree it was well worth it. At some time or another, we all have emotional problems that get us down. But a little word of advice from a friend makes all the difference. So remember, you're not alone anymore. We are here at It's a Woman's World, and we care. So if you have any emotional problems and you don't know what to do, write to us at Heart to Heart, It's a Woman's World, PO Box 16, Naroda Industrial Estate, Ahmedabad 382330. By the way, what is your zodiac sign? Could it be Aries? It is. Well, there's a message for you from outer space. It's from Bajan Daruwala, and as you'll see, he's spaced out. Cosmos calling, calling. Tuning Aries, children of violent Mars. Your key word is enterprise. Adventure and you are firm friends. 
both the physical and the spiritual appeal to you in equal measure and that's saying a lot in company you are the leader alone also you are comfortable and that's saying much too much lucky color especially for aryans is red lucky stone the ruby it is said that an aryan can overcome all his enemies but he can't overcome his own self never were more true what said the women are fatal lethal and very possessive but why not if you are violent if your emotions are, are aroused you have a right let's say if not to murder at least to hurt why not it is also true that the pioneering instinct is the best in you very surprisingly you make an excellent mother superb at the job That's all for now. Till we meet again next month. And by the way, forget the past. Remember, this is the first day of the rest of your life. It's your